Thomas said something after Iowa, winning Iowa, which a lot of people talked about when you said, I love American cities and I'll work with anyone, Democrats, yeah. independents, Republicans, to fix those cities. It's true. Where would you start? What city would you like to start with on a federal, to the yeah. extent you can have partnerships? It's so sad to see what's happening. Now, for the most part, you have to work with Democrats. They're all, the 25 worst cities are essentially you've all done that before. Democrat. I've worked with Democrats. I lived in New York. Do you know, New York went bad when I left. Okay, think of it. New York, when I was there, was great. When I went to Washington, I left New York. I went to Washington. It started going really bad. We had a very bad mayor, but it took a little while, even with him as mayor. He was a terrible, now he's teaching at Harvard how to run something. He couldn't run anything, de Blasio. He was a terrible mayor. Incompetent man. Now we have a man that's very much trying. It's a hard thing for him because you have so many migrants coming into New York. It's hard for him. I hear he likes me a lot, but I hear that only through the grapevine. Maybe. Will you work with him to try to help would. New York? I work with him. I'm going to give them funds. We're going to try and rebuild these cities. Chicago. Look at the crime. So on July 4th, 117 people. This is a weekend. 170 people. 117 people were shot. 17 died. 17 died. A heartbreak. This is in Chicago. I asked you this, I believe it was at Normandy at the 75th anniversary of Normandy. I'm gonna ask again. What do you pray for? I know you're not, you don't like to really talk about this, but I, I think I most don't. people across the country see you as an important figure, a critical figure at a desperate time for the country. They think that, and they wanna know that you believe there's something more than just this moment. Well, I do. I think one of the reasons that our country has lost sort of everything, it's lost so much, is we don't have religion to the same extent. I mean, you look at those charts, they're so sad. I mean, it's just going bad. And the Democrats were violent and ruthless to religion during COVID. What they did during COVID, people weren't even allowed to meet outside and they were 10 feet apart in some big field. They'd arrest everybody. They were, they were fascists, they were horrible. That was a very bad time for organized religion. But religion, you know, it gives you some hope. Gee, if I'm good, I'm going to heaven. Do you believe in heaven? I do. If I'm good, I'm going to heaven. And if I'm bad, I'm going to someplace else, like over there, right? But it gives you, there's something that is so good for a country. We lost a lot. When you pray, what do you pray for? Well, I pray for our country. I pray, obviously. I pray for the same thing you pray. Our family and our country. We have, the, we have a family, we have a country. And I guess we have a world. I pray for the world too. I stopped what could have been world wars. You are, we are very close right now to a world war. When you look at what's going on with Russia, Ukraine, we're spending billions of dollars. Now they want offensive weapons so we can go in and hit Moscow and this. Let me tell you, we're very close to a world war. The Middle East is ready to blow up. Uh, the Russia-Ukraine thing is much more serious than you even know. Are you worried about the Hezbollah attacks in Israel? Obviously, children's body well, well, parts were the, being picked up. Yeah, just they're the hours. Iran attacks. Look, I had Iran. They had no money. They were broke. Now they have $300 billion. They made it all in three and a half years. I said to China, if you buy oil from Iran, you can't do business in the United States anymore. Plus, I'm going to put 100% tariffs on everything you do send us, okay? So remember this. They weren't buying anything. Nobody was. Iran was broke. And I want to say this to Iran, because they're listening and, you know, they've got their ways. They would have been happy. Everybody would have been happy in the end. Everybody would have been happy. Iran would have been happy. They just can't have a nuclear weapon. Iran cannot have a nuclear weapon. If they do, it's a whole new world order, and it's something that's going to be obliteration. I mean, and we have a man who's grossly incompetent negotiating. Now